Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Diamond Together again. Today, I'm gonna to tell you guys about a story about my life um, from the past and from the present. So today's story is basically two stories I have about my near-death experience as a child. So the first story talks about when me and my little brother were playing with this little marble set. Um, basically, when the marble was somewhat magnetic and the little pieces were magnetic, and we stick them together, uh, it would connect and do some fun shit. Whatever, fuck, I don't remember. So I thought it would be a good idea to put the marble in my mouth, swallow it, then throw it back up. You know, if you think about it now, I was a dumb fucking kid. And if I were to go back in time about, I don't know, a few years, I'd be like, hey, this is a dumb idea. Don't put your life in risk. But, you know, I was a stupid, naive kid. So I was like, no, fuck, I'm going to do it. So the first time, I was successful. I was like, holy shit, I did it. I'm going to be some David Blaine bullshit for this fucking mad trick. You know, well, curiosity killed a cat. I don't want to say curiosity, but I thought I was so confident that I would have done it a second time. And when I tried to do it a second time, it got stuck in my throat. I started fucking it. I'm fucking it. I started fucking panicking. I was panicking so much, I was trying to tell my brother, hey, I was choking you know, the You know, being six years old, you don't know about this shit. You know, I don't say nobody's life. You, you need to be careful saving your own life sometimes, or your parents. So I looked around, trying to see how I can get myself free. I started praying to God. I was like, God, can you help me? Now the situation is for you. If I stop choking right now, I'll be, I'm be, i either going to die or be thankful for what you did. Anyway, out of nowhere, or miraculously, I called it back up. I was so stunned and scared, I was like, nope, fuck that. I threw the marble in the kitchen, then bounced off right into the playroom we had as a child. So yeah, that was a time where I almost died and took off a marble from doing stupid shit. So the second story is basically about the time I fell off a full wheel and I landed on my head and got ran over. So this happened around, let's just say, two years prior to what happened. So let's just say I was eight years old. So I was around my um, stepmother's mother's house. She had a big ass backyard growing up. So she had like, like baseball games and um, fire or some other shit. So we had a full wheel and stuff. I decided to go around the house again, back from the, um, what was it? Back in the open field of her backyard, supposedly she said, or said. Went around there a bunch of times and stuff. So the last time I did it, I went around the corner too fast. The whole thing flipped over, including myself. I thank God I had a helmet on because it landed right on my head. Then I fell forward. Then I was trying to get back up. I don't know where the fucking fool was, ran over top of me. I don't know how the hell that happened. And I don't know how, you know, where that, I don't even want to know what happened really. So I got up, started crying to my dad. He was like, what the hell happened and everything else? And it turns out most people in the house wouldn't know what the hell was going on. But, yeah, that was me doing dumb ass shit. So the moral, mm -mm. the moral of the story is pretty much, don't do stupid shit as a child. But if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys want more story time videos, please give this video a like, comment down below, and subscribe to play, be part of the Diamond Game. Follow me on Instagram and um, Snapchat and the shit. And add me on Xbox as well. Without further ado, guys, I'll see you guys later. Lord Admin out. See you.